Hey there everybody, T-Shirt Booth here for GSHelper.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to make a progress bar for your game kind of like Bejeweled, so um, when the user gets points the progress bar goes up and when they get to the top of the progress bar um, the level is over, the round is over. Um, so they have to achieve a certain amount of points before the level can be complete. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start that now. Uh, the first thing I'll need is two actors. Um, the first actor is just basically our background for the progress bar and um, I'm going to put position for that. I'm going to put it 240 because I want it right in the middle. Uh, and for my size I've already determined I want it 450 pixels wide and 24 height. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that actor and put it on my screen here. Um, again I'm just going to double click on it, make sure it's at x240 because I want it right in the center. Uh, the Y doesn't matter, so boom, it's right there. So now for this one here, I want this one to be green. Uh, traditional progress bar colors, I guess. Size will be the exact same. Two, uh, sorry, 450 by 24. And I'm going to go ahead and drag that on top. And I'm just going to double click it because I want to make sure it's in position 240 so it's right on top of the other actor. And I'm just going to put it up a couple. So it's perfect. It's right on top. Now, yes, it's full right now, and we won't want it full, but we'll get to that. So let's go make some attributes. So the first attribute is going to be um, an index, and it's for our score. So we're going to go score. And obviously our score starts at zero. Now we're going to... Um, I guess the next uh, thing we'll do is we'll go into that actor here and um, we're going to tell it where to constrain to. Uh, let me go here. So you see the starting of it right there. We know because this is 450 pixels long um, that leaves only 30 pixels left for the rest of the scene. So half of this side, half of this side. So that spot right there is actually 15 pixels. So we want to make sure it's always constrained to the left. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a constraint attribute and we're going to constrain self position x because x is left and right two and we're going to go 15 plus um, so we want to start it at 15 no matter what and then we're going to go open bracket and we're going to go self size width divided by two close bracket so basically um, looks for the center of the object divides it by two um, to get the number and then plus 15 so that way it always no matter how big it gets it's always gonna stay to the left at the 15 points okay so what we're gonna do is purchase preview you'll see nothing's changed because it's that size and everything's fine so one more thing we need to do is have a constraint attribute and um, we're gonna constrain um, the size of this actor so we're gonna constrain size width and this is where a little bit of math comes in handy um, because we don't want it to go actually what I'll do is I'll um, I'll do it one way first to show you and then um, you'll see how it's not working properly and then we'll fix it so you understand what's going on so we're going to change uh, constrain it to game score now we need to know the math we need to know um, how many points it's going to take to complete this level um, so I've already done a little bit of math and I'm going to say I want this level to complete when the user makes 10,000 points. Um, so what we need to do is uh, I'm going to go over here to my calculator and you, what you want to do is because we know the power bar is 450 uh, pixels wide and we want to do 10,000 points so we're going to divide 450 by 10,000 equals 0.045. So we want to add 0 0.045 pixels for every point they have. So we're going to do score times 0 0.045. All right, so for every point they get, that's how much the, the bar is going to increase in size. So let's go ahead and make another actor here, and this will be our button. It's just going to help us add some the score um, so you can see what's going on. The first thing we'll do is I'll put a display text in here so you can see the score. So game.score and we'll make that a color. 
And now what we're going to do is we're going to make a rule and we're going to say when touch is pressed change attribute game dot score to game dot score plus and we're going to do a random number so random open bracket uh, 200 comma 1200 so it's going to add anywhere in between 200 and 1200 points every time and hit OK and we'll hit preview and we'll see here as we add points it gets bigger and bigger so there's two problems here one you'll see a little flicker on the left hand side there okay we'll fix that also and the other problem is is it's going off the screen it's going way too big so let's fix both of those issues um, the first issue is caused by our two constraints here we actually want to constrain the size width above the self position so now we'll hit preview and you'll see that it doesn't flicker anymore on the left so that's our first issue the second issue is our um, our size here so we want we want to stop it from getting too big so the first thing we're going to do is go to the beginning of this and we're going to type in max open bracket and the smallest it can be is zero so I'll hit zero comma and then we have um, we want to do a min m i n open bracket and then we have our score here thing that we have which is good and then we're going to do comma at the end of that and the maximum we want this to be is 450 pixels wide so we're going to do 450 and then we're going to do two close brackets you always want to make sure you have the same amount of close brackets as you do open brackets now we're going to hit okay hit preview and I'll start adding points to here and you'll see it can no longer no matter how many points get bigger than that size and then now everything else is just uh, depending on what you want to do um, when it's 10,000 points you'll have a rule somewhere let's say here uh, when touches press and uh, attribute game score is you know less than 10,000 that's a start so here preview so now you'll see we can get points but once we get over 10,000 we can't no matter how many times I press we can't get any more so it's like a level complete and um, you can do something like that like uh, go here uh, display text level complete nice reddish color uh, and then we go in here you know, create a rule when attribute game dot score is greater than ten thousand spawn actor and I believe it's actor four, just a preview. Let's see here. Boom, level complete. Um, so that's pretty much it for a points progress bar. I hope you enjoy. Head on over to gshelper.com and download this file, save it, and do what you want with it. Um, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.